Now, SpaceX is in it. They, they did some stuff recently. It's pretty interesting. Um, they they are set to become the third most valuable venture backed U.S. company. They authorized a raising of five hundred and seven million dollars on April 5th. Now, this is cool because I think SpaceX is going to have a larger impact on our lives than Tesla will, actually. And as far as, far as where Elon's heart is, I still I still speculate that it's in SpaceX, not not as much as Tesla. So um, and if you don't know why I say that, go read his biography and you'll understand. Uh, so j j just some some bit about this. I'm going to read this from because it's so short and then I'm going to go into some other things that they talked about with SpaceX. So uh, the value of Elon Musk's Space Exploration Technologies Corp keeps reaching new heights the rocket maker authorized 507 million uh, million dollars fundraising rounds on april 5th at the valuation of 25 billion according to pitch book data with that increase in spacex's worth musk's fortune would rise about 1.4 billion to 21.3 billion according to bloomberg billionaires index calculations which is kind of a dumb thing to have but fine uh spacex is poised to become the third most valuable venture-backed startup in the u.s after uber and airbnb pitch book said musk plans to fly roughly 30 missions this year and has completed seven to date in fact i think one is going off right now or this morning or today or later today i can't even keep track they're, they're launching so many of them um, on Monday, SpaceX is slated to launch a Falcon 9 rocket from Cape Canaveral. That's the one I'm talking about. Um, so if you guys are watching that um, or are going to watch it later, I'm always thrilled. My son always seems to love those. So with that, there was some other stuff about SpaceX that came out. So I'll kind of uh, package this all up into a nice bundle for you. One is that uh, Gwen Shotwell, the president of SpaceX, uh, gave a talk uh, at, at TED um, recently where there was this back and forth with, between her and Chris Anderson. Um, so I'll, I'll read you the little blurb here because I think this is super interesting. Um, they're talking about BFR, which uh, stands for Big Falcon Rocket. And um, it, the plan is to fly BFR like an aircraft, doing point-to-point -point travel, taking off from New York City or Vancouver, and flying halfway around the globe in roughly 40 minutes. Anderson says incredulously, this is never going to happen. And Gwyn shoots back, Oh no, it's definitely going to happen, and within a decade. The time frame for landing humans on Mars looks about the same, she says, since both projects are built on the same technology. And to the question of why, with all the problems here on Earth, SpaceX has their eyes on the stars. Shawa has a vision. This is the first step to us moving to other solar systems and potentially other galaxies, she says. This is the only time I outvisioned Elon. I want to meet people, or whatever they call themselves, in another solar system. So that is a bold, bold statement. Um, and you know, kudos to to Gwen because if you guys again know the story of her, she she's she's a, a, a badass president that is really making things happen. And so, cheers to you, Gwen, for for uh for you know sharing the, the this with us because i think it gets people nerds like me and and you know just everyone really in the world super excited about these possibilities and what the future holds and we need companies like this uh, so anyways with that if you don't remember what the bfr is or what it does here is a shot that elon posted of the main body tool this is the thing that will actually like make the body of it um compared to a model 3 so you can see kind of how ginormous it is and then here is the video of it actually going. Now, the simple idea is that if you if you get outside of our uh, of our gravitational field and you can go into like low earth orbit, then you can travel around the world incredibly fast. You know, these satellites and things fly around the planet at, at speeds you can't even fathom here on earth and it's because they're not as affected by the gravity and they're so far away that that one little turn uh as the earth spins if you're going the opposite direction it, it, it equates to a huge amount of distance in a very short period of time uh so the idea here is that you would get onto this bfr and there's 100 people per pod that would fly you know it would take off um go into low earth orbit i believe and then it would come back and autonomously land at some other destination. Um, I think this one they have what here? It's uh, from New York to Shanghai. But you get the idea that um, that it could kind of go from anywhere to anywhere because you have the ability to to literally use the Earth's uh, rotation to your advantage. It's a pretty incredible 
uh, feet. And of course, they're they're uh, mastering the 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 rocket reusability and the ability to take off and land autonomously. So this would make I, I think you know in ten years this could be a possibility. It's funny I, I'm more optimistic about this than I am um, self driving cars. I think this will be easier to do than self driving cars simply because there are less uh, barriers. You have the physics to deal with, but you have less. Uh, you don't have like a drunk human that is going to run into you while you're flying this. Um, so you get the idea. Uh, pretty amazing. Um, I love that the, that this you know we're talking about this and this is even happening. And um, it reminds me of an old joke that uh, someone said. This comedian, I, I'm paraphrasing, uh, where he said, you know, if Australia, if we're talking about from the U.S., if Australia is 23 hours away, it's a 23 hour flight. Can't we just go up in the air for an hour and let the Earth spin and have them come to us? And that's essentially what this is. That's truthfully like what's happening here. Um, so it's pretty amazing. Um, and so I'm curious what you guys think about this. So leave me a comment down below um, and you know whether or not you would take a ride on the BFR. Who knows, maybe that'll be a referral program prize uh, down the road.